Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today we finally have confirmed specs for Intel's upcoming 10th gen desktop CPUs, Nvidia's new GPU gets its first review, and specs on Intel's 11th gen Tiger Lake processors. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as MassDrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, and if you do it today, you'll get $20 off your first drop made item. So head to the link in the description below. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, Intel has been doing a pretty terrible job at keeping their upcoming 10th gen mainstream CPUs under wraps, as a ton of details have been leaking out for quite some time. Well, today we have some more concrete information that essentially confirms some of what we've seen and gives us a bit more. So starting things off, Video Cards has confirmed with their sources that the recent date from El Chapuz's Informatico is correct. That is, that the embargo for Intel's next-gen parts will be lifted on April 30th, so not long now. Second, similar to a slide that leaked just before Intel announced their high-performance series of mobile processors, a few new slides for their desktop lineup have leaked as well. First up, we have the i5-10600K, which is a 6-core, 12-thread part with up to 4.8GHz boost clock. Then we have the i7-10700K, which is an 8-core, 16-thread CPU with a boost clock of up to 5.1 GHz. And finally, we have the i9-10900K, which is confirmed to be a 10-core, 20-thread CPU with a boost clock of up to 5.3 GHz. Basically, Intel has taken their i9, moved it down to an i7, up the clocks a bit, and added two more cores for the new i9. And these are nearly identical to what we've seen leaked in the past, but this time it's more or less confirmed. As far as performance, I wouldn't expect any huge jump, other than what you get out of the higher clocks and two extra cores, since these are still running on the same 14 nanometer process, as well as the same core design that Intel has been using for years. Which reminds me to recommend you pick up the new 14 nanometer plus 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 squared shirt in the description below. Still, they do get some serious props for being able to push the process so far, but it's clear they need to do something soon, or Intel could get left in the dust. Next up for today, I have an update on a video I did back in February. In it, there was a new EEC filing with a bunch of upgraded GTX 1650s with GDDR6 RAM. Keep in mind that this is the original 1650 with GDDR6 and not the 1650 Super. Well, since then, MSI has officially announced the new D6 series of GPUs, with more AIBs likely coming soon. And now we have our first review from X Preview. But before I get to that, PC Gamer was reportedly told by an Nvidia rep that the reason is due to quote, the industry is running out of GDDR5. So there you have it, Nvidia didn't necessarily do it to better compete with AMD or for added performance. Instead, they simply didn't have a choice, but that's good for us because regardless of intent, it still could mean better performance. And that brings us to the review. As you can see, X Preview reviewed the Zotac GTX 1650D6 Destroyer OC, and long names aside, it did fairly well, given its constraints. See, while the card received the faster GDDR6 memory, it also got slower clocks, apparently to keep it at its TDP of 75 watts. The new Zotac model had a boost frequency of 1590 MHz, while the GDDR5 model has a max boost of 1665 MHz. That's unfortunate, but luckily when it comes to performance, there's still a bit of an increase, with anywhere from around 2 to 10%, and an average of around 6%. Basically, it really goes to show how important faster memory is because even with a clock decrease, the new GPU got an overall performance increase. My hope is that the price won't increase to go along with it. Fingers crossed. Lastly for today, we have new information on Intel's upcoming Tiger Lake processors. The leak was originally posted by RO Game, and as you can see, it was spotted in a 3D Mark benchmark. So starting things off, we have the i7-1185G7, and this is actually important in and of itself, because we now know Intel won't be following Nvidia into the 20 series, and instead simply moving forward with 11th gen. That obviously isn't much, but it's interesting to see the two companies diverge in naming. Next up, you can see that this is a 4-core 8-thread CPU with a base clock of 3 GHz. So unfortunately, that means Intel won't be upping the core count of their ultra-low power parts for next gen, which is a bit disappointing, but given this should utilize the new Willow Cove core design, it may not matter much. As far as performance, it really isn't all that impressive, but this is likely a very early sample. Plus, with the 3 GHz clock, it's not that unexpected. Basically, this is more about specs and information than it is actual performance. 
Lastly, before I go, I wanted to thank everyone who's been folding at home because the Gamer Mail team just reached over 100 million points in finding the thing that shall not be named. To find out more about that and the giveaway for it, check out the Gamer Mail Discord server and head over to the FAQ channel. So while that does it for today, what do you think of that new NVIDIA GPU? And are you excited for Intel's 10th gen CPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.